When it comes to MMOs, regardless of whatever game you actually come from, be it Final Fantasy XIV, World of Warcraft, Destiny, any MMO you want, everyone has that one raiding experience that really gets under their skin. Be it that first raid run that you ever attempted to actually just try and get that experience on your belt, or maybe it's your hundredth raid that you just really could not wait to get it done and over with. And I think it's pretty safe to say that we pretty much all have an experience like that when it comes to the raiding scene. And that's actually what I'm here to talk to you about today, my worst experience in a raid in Destiny history. Admittedly, I kinda did it to myself being Rise of Iron, I wanted to do a Sherpa run for uh, Wrath of the Machine, and big, big mistake. Errors were definitely made, and I do want to apologize ahead of time. I could not actually get footage of the raid, and I did not want to actually use somebody else's footage for my video. So I'm going to have some Destiny 2 footage in the background of this. If that's an issue, I apologize. I will put a link to a guide for the raid in the description below. That way, if you want to see what the encounters actually look like, it'll be there for you. But I just did not want to use somebody else's footage, and I could not get a raid together. Apparently, nobody in D1 really wants to run old raids, and I get it, it's a really old game, so I apologize for any inconvenience. Anyway, so for the actual story, I. I think I should actually give some context, because I was doing hard mode of the Wrath of the Machine raid pretty much every week to try and get the hard mode arms for my Warlock, so I wanted to get the full hard mode set. And I don't know if you played any D1 raids before, but the raid armor actually would have perks that would help you within the raid, which I absolutely loved. It was an amazing feature that kept me going back to the raids. So because of this, every so often I would bring in a group of newbies and I would sherpa them through the raid. And most of them actually usually went off without a hitch. But this one in particular, it got me, both me and one of my friends at the time really mad. So I actually invite my friend Alex to join the party, so he's helping me out through the raid and I've got four new people in the raid with me. So we actually do the first encounter where you have to charge the, uh, I'm not even sure what to really call it. It's the fallen machine that shoots out the seabird walls. So you gotta charge that. We get through that within like two damage phases. It was not very difficult at all. But then we got to boss X phase two, and that's where things started to really go downhill. So I actually explained to them that we're going to have two people on each side, two people on right, two people on left, and two people in mid. I put myself in mid so I could keep an eye on the monitors and I could have the new people. Basically I put myself in a way that I could get to any of the new players if they needed assistance on their side. And it's just like during this encounter they forgot how to play the game all together. They would refuse to kill their captains, they wouldn't kill the dregs. I'm not even sure they were even shooting their guns half the time, and no matter what I told them, they weren't listening. When the balls would fall down from the ceiling after the audio cue, I'd count down like, hey, get the balls, three, two, one, everybody got the balls, and I would count down to when we were going to throw. The throws were all over the place, some of them actually went to the wall. It took us nearly two hours to get to the first damage phase for Bossix because they just kept messing up. I tried to tell them, stick with the balls, kill your adds, make sure the captain goes down. If you have to use heavy ammo, use the heavy ammo. And they just would not listen. I do not know what was going through their heads. And then during the damage phase when the monitor would light up, I would glance up at the monitor, I'd start to shoot and I'm yelling out, shoot the monitors. Come on, and end up only being me and Alex to ever shoot the monitors. We'd go into the safe rooms to survive the damage wipe phase, and they would go to fucking random dark rooms instead of the one that was lit up, so most of them would die. It was just a complete mess. After we were stuck on Vostix phase 2 for about four and a half hours, because they would not 
listen to a damn thing we hear Alex told them. No matter how we rearrange the placement, like I'm pretty sure at one time I moved myself to right side then to left side, I kept jumping around changing positions with people to try and get them in a spot where they'd actually do their job. But after about four and a half hours, Alex had enough of the shit and he just left. Which, honestly, I can't really blame him because they completely ignored everything I said in the final counter. But I will be getting to that one because that one was just atrocious. So, after Alex leaves, we're stuck there for like another hour or so before they finally, finally get everything down. Now keep in mind, when I do Wrath of Machine runs, they're usually, I want to say around an hour, an hour and a half. We do not take very long when I have a team with me and knows what they're doing. But this one, we spent five hours just dealing with Vossix alone. I was already tilted at this point, so I'm just in a rush to get the Zamboni because I'm figure this is going to take another few hours, isn't it? And... They actually surprised me here because I could have swore we would have spent hours on the Zamboni. We knocked the Zamboni out immediately. They did everything damn near perfectly. They followed my every instruction. I was like, there is a god. There is hope. And I don't know if you know the Zamboni encounter, but I like to have a... Uh, I do a sort of strat where I keep one person on the Zamboni during the second stage so that they can kill the engineer and start sniping out the walker. And the person I left up there, he did everything perfectly. He killed the captain, he killed the ads that were on the Zamboni, took out the Ex Machina, started shooting the legs. Everybody got their parts into position very quickly. It was amazing, and they actually really impressed me with it. I could have swore we would have been there for hours with how cantorous it can get. I should have known that they were saving their stupidity for something else. Honestly, I should have expected it. Because as soon as we went to Axis, things went bad again. I don't really want to go too much into detail about how to do Axis, either Phase 1 or Phase 2, because there are a lot of moving parts to this encounter. And... I'd rather not just sit here for like 20 minutes explaining all of the mechanics that for what I want to be a short video anyway. By explaining to everybody, I split them up into the groups of two that we did for Vossix. Two, two, and two. We go around, we kill what we need to kill. When it comes time to throw the SIVA balls at the little markers below Axis, nobody wanted to throw the balls, right? Of course, I actually saw one fly over the pit to the back of us at one point. And it took us another, like, hour to get through Axis. But that's not where things went bad, because eventually they started listening, like, Hey, let's not throw the ball into the fucking abyss. Let's throw it at the little diamond there, like Joey said. So by some cosmic miracle, we actually get through Axis Phase 1. And here's where things get really, really bad. So before I go to shoot Axis to actually start the encounter, I sit them down. I explain to them exactly what is going to happen. I explain to them about the servitors, that they need to call out which servitor will be on which side so the person with the Arcanon can actually not exactly Arcan specifically, but whatever can you have can go to that side, kill that servitor, and everybody can do everything that they need to do. I explain it to them, and they all agree, they understand, they say that they know what I'm talking about. Alright, so I go ahead, I turn around, I shoot axes for it, starting the encounter. Guess what they do? After a servitor starts spawning, I hear two callouts. Void on right, void on left. If you don't know what's wrong with that, the servitor will be either arc, solar, or void. But there will be only one of an elemental type on the field at one time. And it's randomized. So if void is on right, chances are next time it spawns it won't be on right. 
but it will never be two voids at the same time. At least I'm fairly certain not, because I looked over to the left, guess what? It was an arc servitor. So I'm quickly trying to correct it, arc left, void right, and I look down the mid, we got a solar one, I'm good, I yelled solar, but guess who goes to arc? The solar guy that I was with. Alright, waste of time, but I try to explain it, and they try to understand, I guess, and it basically goes down the same exact way. I'm gonna be straight up, we never saw the damage phase or access phase 2. Never happened, because they would not listen to a damn thing I told them during access phase 2. Literally, after four wipes. They actually stopped listening to me altogether. I would tell them to do something, they're like, No, Art, we're not sure that's how it goes. And I'm just, Yes, it is! I am telling you how this works. And they would actively start doing things that I would tell them not to do. Like, they were convinced that I had just all of a sudden started lying to them about how to do the encounters when... Throughout the entire raid, I had been correct about everything else, so why would all of a sudden I be lying to them about this one particular encounter? So keep in mind, at this point, we had been sitting in the raid for over six hours. Keep that in mind. And at this point, they were pretty much doing the exact opposite of what I would tell them, to where they were actually discussing among themselves trying to figure it out, and they weren't even killing the servitors anymore at this point, so I'm like, alright. I understand what's going on here. I understand completely. So I actually ended up leaving this raid. And I get I was a Sherpa and it's a really fucking dick move. At this point, we were in it for over six hours. If you've ever done Wrath, it should never take that amount of time. Two, they were actively doing things I would tell them not to do. And were refusing to listen to me at all at that point. So... I get I was a dick for leaving, but at the same time, I mean, if you're not going to do what I tell you to do anyway, there's not really any point in me sticking around. So after this, I hit up Alex on Facebook, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I ended up leaving that raid. I actually got a message from the guy on Xbox Live, and I was going to put it up here, but I figured, eh, I'm not going to just actually do that, so... He messaged me, don't put up a Sherpa post on LG if you're just going to leave. I did. You were refusing to listen to me at all. It's not my fault. I, get, I did leave, I did put up the post. Honestly, I cannot be blamed for it. I explained to them multiple times how to do every encounter except for the Zimboni because by some cosmic miracle... They did that perfectly the first time. Now I know that might be a bit tame considering how insane some of those horror stories can get, but for me personally, that was my worst raiding experience throughout all of the raids I've done. Throughout my Vault of Glass runs, throughout my Crota runs, throughout my King's Fall runs. Hell, I've never had a King's Fall run that, that was that cancerous. With how poorly they actually took instructions, it makes me really really glad that I did not take them through the Outbreak Prime quest. Because I do not think I had the patience to deal with their shit. I'd probably call out which cylinder to stand on. they go to like the one on the complete opposite every single time. And that would have been absolute cancer. Anyway, thank you for sticking through 14 minutes of my horror story. If you want to see more content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And hey, maybe even leave a comment. And if you aren't subscribed, you definitely should. Maybe hit that bell icon. There will be more content coming. And again, thank you all for watching. I know this isn't as bad as some other people's stories, but... Six hours. Six hours. <laughs> and at the end, they would actively refuse to listen to anything I said, so... I get it, I left, but... Could you really blame me? Anyway, it's been Halex signing out, and I will see y'all next time.